today about the multi-billion dollar proposal to bring the Wizards and Capitals to Alexandria. Our Kelly Lynn is live in Delray to explain what came out of that meeting. As we're growing businesses into those bigger spaces. Inside Pork Barrel Barbecue in Delray, business leaders and owners got their questions answered. I'm very curious about how they get their foot in the door. We have the platforms through the Wizards, through the Cavs, through our concerts to really help, you know, highlight your businesses to make them successful. The concerns range from community engagement to congestion. I asked Bill Blackburn of the Homegrown Restaurant Group to identify what he sees as the project's greatest challenge. Having a high dose of traffic uh, before a, a, a game is, 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 is a challenge. And we've got one main road, north and south, that kind of feeds that. And, and how, do we, how do we mitigate that traffic? A big part of that transportation planning process is figuring out and doing all this data analysis. And when the data analysis is finished, that's when it starts to become a discussion point that's informed. The business leaders also wanted to know if affordable housing is part of the project, and the executives assured them it's a priority. We had our own questions for the representatives from Monumental Sports and Entertainment and JBG Smith, the Bethesda developer that controls most of Potomac Yard, where the sports arena and entertainment complex would be built. We had a recent protest where the people there were mentioning that the 30,000 plus jobs and the nearly 50 billion in additional economic development over 30 years is really just an illusion. How do you respond to that? Uh, I think that there is proof in sports anchor developments that that's actually not true and that, that the, the sport, sports anchor developments actually play off more so than, than is actually shown in, in, in some of the numbers that are out there today. For 7 News, I'm Kelly Lynn. 7 News has been trying to get insight into which law